Unit 7 uh, for CSI NET exam is uh, the human physiology. So the most important uh, topics from human physiology in CSI NET exam is endocrine system and hormone signaling one to two questions. Digestive system and diseases one question. Nervous system one to two questions. Uh, and that includes uh, the nervous system includes uh, resting membrane potential action potential ECG graph. Cardiovascular system, one question, particularly intrinsic conduction system and the rest of the process of the blood composition and stuff. Excretory system, one to two question, including the formation of urine and the function of nephron. Respiratory system, you can expect one question. And the respiratory system, generally they ask question, inspiration and expiration. Particularly more important topics are uh, the chloride shift, reverse chloride shift. Halden effect and they also can ask you a question regarding uh, this cellular level of respiration that concludes unit 7 now let's see unit 8 CSI net unit 8 is all about genetics so the most important topics for CSI net in life science from genetics are bacterial genetics it includes uh, all the HFR process horizontal gene transfer processes including uh, you know transduction transformation uh, all these techniques and they ask you one question from there transposable elements uh, that includes transposons uh, both for prokaryotes and eukaryotic origin zero to one question DNA mutation one to two question and mutation includes the type of mutation the classes of mutation the mutagenesis how mutagenesis occurs chemical mutagens and physical mutagens and some chemical induced mutagenesis and their role DNA damage and repair, including all the damage repair uh, mechanisms, MMS, methyl mismatch repair, nuclear direct excision repair, base excision repair, etc. 0 to 1 questions. DNA recombination, 0 to 1 question, and particularly from uh, the Hollida model and the recombination model questions. Mendelian genetics, 0 to 1 questions. Uh, particularly, they'll ask you more math question rather than a direct theory based question from there. But still, they can ask uh, plenty of questions, particularly from non Mendelian genetics, including incomplete dominance, co dominance, and polygenic inheritance, uh, phenocopy, pleiotropy, and so on. Human genetics, 0 to 1 question. And particularly, the question they will ask here is uh, either uh, sex determination or uh, XY linked uh, inheritance, or all about the pedigree analysis. You can get uh, one to two questions genetics math problems obviously two questions are for sure that will be from non mendel inheritance mostly now that concludes unit 8 or genetics of CSI net syllabus now unit 9 is all regarding the classification biology and regarding uh, the the you know distribution of animals and plants throughout the Indian uh, subcontinent and that will be unit 9 of CSI net so the questions important are animal classification one to two questions including uh, the animal classification for vertebrates and as well as invertebrates for invertebrates you need to remember till the phylum for vertebrates you need to remember till the class properties of different phylum and invertebrates one to two properties of different classes of vertebrates so uh, the phylum regarding porifera nidaria tinophila all these different phylum they are important properties and few example animals properties for the vertebrates you need to remember till class like like chondrichthys ostrichthys amphibia reptilia avs mammalia their importance uh, their properties and, and and some examples Cladogram analysis is the most important part. They will ask you one to two, even sometimes more than two questions you can expect from cladogram analysis, phenogram analysis, or dendogram analysis. Math problems from cladogram analysis, one to two questions. That concludes unit nine. And then some other questions regarding the Indian subcontinent, particularly the question that will be a kind of bridged question between unit nine, ten, and eleven, including the, the different animal behavior like mimicry, as well as the situations including. Uh, the different biodiversity hotspots in India and the example animals and plants in those hotspots in India. Okay, uh, speci especially uh, the Western Ghat and Eastern Himalaya. Okay, now CSI NET Unit 10 is all about the environmental biology. It's all about the, the environment and the environmental biology topics that is asked in CSI NET exam includes a ecosystem ecology one to two questions population ecology two questions poly pollution that is greenhouse gas global warming effect zero to one questions community ecology community interactions one question ecological niche concept zero to one question biodiversity and conservation biology they'll give you one to two question and remember in this case ecosystem ecology in population ecology you need to know about the population growth rnk selected species 
and all the differences regarding uh, the three different types of life type 1 type 2 and type 3 survivorship curves in pollution particularly greenhouse gas and their effects you need to remember in community ecology you need to know uh, the different community interactions including the you know uh, the interactions like mutualism predation competition and on ecological niche concept both fundamental as well as realized niche what are their differences what are the similarities biodiversity and the conservation biology includes simpson and shannon index uh, i'll give you like uh, questions one to two alpha beta and gamma diversity restoration of the ecosystem uh, restoration of ecosystem includes uh, all those sustainable development policies and how exactly you can restore by either the process of biological augmentation or biological you know preventing biological magnification and restoring ecosystem and all the other methods of restoration of ecosystem conservation biology obviously uh, that includes uh, the different national parks sanctuaries and how they work uh, what are their differences the comparison and all and red data list includes all the different classification schemes based on red data list from uh, uh, not vulnerable at all to near threatened and then finally uh, goes to the extinct type okay you need to remember example of few mammal bird species uh, from each of those different uh, different classification scheme of red data list in india ecological biome all the different biomes are uh, their uh, rainfall their primary productivity as well as their net temperature throughout uh, the summer and winter that's what you need to remember that concludes unit 10 now unit 11 it's all about evolutionary biology and the evolutionary biology for csi net life science and the most important topics for csi net in the upcoming exam from unit 11 or evolutionary biology are origin of life particularly sort of experiments yuri miller experiment that includes in the you know held in soup how exactly all originated in the beginning it's uh, quasar waves and all question one Evolutionary theory, uh, zero to one question. That is Lamarckism, Darwinism, and all. Then the the pace of evolution, like punctuated equilibrium or gradualism. From there, they can ask you zero to one question. Types of evolution, including also that uh, the different modes of evolution. You know, uh, the the uh, adaptive radiation process, as well as divergent, convergent, and parallel evolution, with examples. Causes of evolution, you need to remember, like mutation, migration, and all. Okay. Speciation, all the types of speciation, allopatric speciation, peripatric speciation, parapatric speciation, and why they are different type of speciation, what are the differences, everything you need to know. Evolutionary laws, all the different laws, Dolo's law, Cope's law, regarding evolution, ontogeny recapitulates phylogeny, laws like that you need to remember. Geological time scale, you'll get at least one question from geological time scale. Altruistic behavior the reciprocal altruism as well as the kin selection and particularly hamilton's rule this is where you can get one question to answer population genetics including hardy and weinberg equilibrium that is p plus q whole square equals to one p square plus two plus two pq plus q square equals to one question from this particularly math question from population genetics genetics of uh, fitness so what is fitness uh, the definition why fitness is so important and how exactly fitness determines uh, the outcome of evolution Math problems from Hardy Weinberg equilibrium one to two question from there. So this is a list of number of question you can expect from CSI Net Unit 11 that is evolutionary biology. Now uh, CSI Net Unit 12 that is applied biology. In the applied biology section you can expect questions like transgenic plants and animals zero to one question, gene therapy zero to one question, particularly gene therapy uh, which is applicable to cystic fibrosis and in some cancers where the gene therapy found to be effective and why the gene therapy is non-effective in other examples, particularly the examples of gene therapy, in vivo and ex vivo gene therapy and all. Industrial microbiology of food production, in this case you need to know the fermentation, types of fermentation that is batch production, uh, continuous fermentation as well as fade batch fermentation and the example of product that is produced with batch, fade batch and continuous fermentation and what are their comparative analysis between the three type of fermentation which is better which is not and so on and also uh, you need to know the questions regarding a typical bioreactor plant breeding you can expect one to two question from plant breeding that conventional uh, plant breeding versus marker assisted selection qtl mapping quantitative trait loci 
mapping with QTL and why it is so important. Plant tissue culture, one to two question regarding the plant tissue cultures, the environment of plant tissue culture, how exactly we can culture, micro propagation, particularly uh, the basics of tissue culture, the medium of tissue culture, the macro and micro elements of the plants and which elements are helping in which different function of a plant. As well as you need to know the different types of tissue culture including root tip culture, shoot tip culture, as well as uh, you know germplasm preservation you also need to prepare the callus formation and callus for inducing medium and why callus is induced and how callus is induced you also need to know somatic embryogenesis and particularly the stages of somatic embryogenesis why somatic embryogenesis is so important how to convert somatic embryos into artificial seeds and what are the comparison between somatic embryo and the other zygotic embryo plant biotechnology you can expect one to two questions from there it includes the marker genes, uh, the selection, uh, selectable markers, as well as the reporter genes, the difference between marker and reporter, as well as the positive marker, negative markers, as well as you need to know the TI plasmid, why TI plasmid is so important, the components of the TI plasmid, how exactly the agrobacterium transfers the T region of the uh, TI plasmid into the plants, and how exactly we can instigate the agrobacterium, we can use agrobacterium to deliver our target gene of interest inside the plant cell, whether the TI plasmid mediated uh, gene delivery is good or not how much stability is and there are other modes of plant gene delivery vehicles and systems both naked DNA delivery as well as the closed DNA delivery system the con comparison between all the delivery systems including biolistics uh, as well as you know different uh, vehicles like uh, vesicle filled with uh, you know uh, vesicle made with a membrane or a uh, particle guns that we use and and the comparison between all okay and also regarding the different types of vectors that we use in plant biotechnology including uh, the chimeric vectors that that we can form the binary uh, vector and quintigrade vector the differences as well okay now csr net unit 13 the last unit of csr net and then csr net unit 13 the most important topic for this upcoming csr net exam are recombinant dna technology techniques including all the rdt techniques that is rdt enzymes that we use the recombinant dna technology enzymes that we use and particularly the recombinant dna technology enzymes uh, involved uh, in uh, the treatment to the vector what is vector how exactly the molecular cloning is done and also need regarding the multiple cloning sites sub cloning and all the details we also need to know about uh, the gene libraries uh, either it's a uh, genome whole genome library or cdna library what's the difference how to prepare cdna library and all pcr and types of pcr all the different types of pcr including the nested pcr the colony pcr the hot start pcr uh, as well as the time uh, you know uh, real-time PCR and why real-time PCR is better than and the normal type of PCR and some examples for that DNA sequencing and from DNA sequencing including the unit sequencing like uh, the Sanger method of sequencing apart from that the next generation sequencing Illumina sequencing uh, 454 sequencing ion torrent sequencing all the different next generation sequencing methods and what's the difference between the Illumina next generation sequencing along with uh, the Sanger sequencing and particularly those those uh, sequencing methods involving uh, the generation of light and quantitative analysis of the sequencing microchip technology as well 2d gel electrophoresis why 2d gel electrophoresis is so important and what is the advantage of two dimensional gel electrophoresis over single dimensional gel electrophoresis molecular markers example RAPD AFLP RFLP and why we use them how we use them and how we can use them to find out a paternity how we use them to find out the criminal particularly in forensic departments NMR spectroscopy uh, particularly the mechanism of NMR spectroscopy and we need to read the data the graph from NMR spectroscopy the mass and charge ratio of NMR spectroscopy and what it's going to tell us circular dichroism also known as CD the CD spectra analysis and also knowing uh, what CD is going to offer us regarding uh, a particular protein and protein structure immunological assays are for disease detection and particularly in all the type of immunological uh, assays involving both uh, qualitative as well as quantitative assays including ELISA, RIA, it includes uh, the Coombs test, it includes the uh, octolonic double diffusion, immunoelectrophoresis and so on. That includes two different types of methods, uh, coagulation based and precipitation based methods and we'll see both here. Now all the topics that I mentioned regarding the CSI net exam, remember from unit 1 to unit 13, these all topics are most important topics for CSI net exam, not only for the December CSI net exam, but also the CSI net exam in the June 2019 for the June 
2019 as well as the December 2019. It is best for reading all these topics that I mentioned in this video for both June as well as your December net preparation. Remember that subtopics are also mentioned. And remember all the topics that I shared actually, these topics are the ones which we focus more in the Shomus Biology, CSI net online coaching as well as Shomus Biology, CSI net offline or classroom coaching. Even uh, there are more subtopics in the divisions that we discuss and top, uh, talk about in every single classes. If you master these topics for CSI net exam, you will definitely get to answer more questions in the question paper and you can prepare yourself in very less amount of time, particularly if you devote four to six hours a day uh, for six months. And if you focus on these topics that we discussed and if you prepare them well with the help of my videos and lectures and processes, you'll definitely be able to qualify. And actually, you have the higher chance of attending maximum questions. And as you can attain maximum question, you have more chance of qualifying the CSI net exam much easily. So this is uh, it folks. So, so it's from the CSI net unit one to CSI net unit 13. The most important topics for CSI UGC net exam in life sciences this time for this upcoming June 2019, the upcoming June, uh, December 2018, as well as June 2019, as well as Ju December 2019 exam. Okay, so if you like this video, definitely hit the like button because I, I've created this video by uh, taking a lot of time collecting all the materials for you. So that's simple thing that I can ask you to offer me Just hit the like button share this video with your friends so that they also get to know which topics they need to recapitulate just before uh, One week of the CSI UGC net exam. So that's it for today We'll meet for another video regarding the same uh, some interesting topic of CSI net exam. Okay, so that's it. Thank you Okay guys, so that's it for the very first part of the CSI net most important topics for CSI net life sciences exam in the upcoming times. So in the next uh, lecture, we are going to talk about the most important topics for CSI net life science from unit 7 to unit 13. So that's for today. If you like this video, please hit the like button, share this video with your friends so that they can also get to know the most important topic for CSI net exam. Thank you very much for watching. Good night.